Hello and welcome to History 791, the capstone for research historians. I am Rob Denning and I will be your guide or Sherpa or valiant leader, whatever you want to call me, in this, the final course of your MA History program here at Southern New Hampshire University. In this course, you're going to write your capstone project. Some universities call this a thesis, we call it a capstone, but whatever it's called, this is the culminating experience of your university study of history. Now the capstone project is a big deal. This is going to be your original formal contribution to our collective knowledge of the world around us and the history of the world around us. You are saying something new here and I want you to walk away from this course and the program with a capstone project that you can be proud of. And I want you to walk away from this course with a capstone project that I can be proud of because I'm going to be here for you the whole time. The capstone will reflect the standards and the values of the historical profession, and it will incorporate all of the proper formatting, citations, historiography, and whatnot that the professional historians demand. If this were to be published in hardcover, I want it to fit on a shelf alongside all of the books that you've read and someday plan to read. Again, this is a big deal, and I'm going to push you hard this term. When you finish, we will call you a master of history, and I'm going to make you prove that mastery along the way with, again, proper formatting, historiography, planning, execution, all of that fun stuff. Okay, so where do we start? This week, you're going to introduce yourself and your project on the Getting Started discussion board. Uh, this week's discussion board asks you to think a bit about the course and the program outcomes, but I'd also like you to talk about the status of your project. Have you completed all of your research? If so, great. What does your writing schedule look like? If not, what do you still need to do to complete the research? When will you complete it? What is your plan for successfully completing the research? Along those lines, I also want you to submit your project proposal that you submitted to your History 790 course. Now, a few of you have been in my classes before, but I am not familiar with any of your capstone projects, as far as I know, anyway. So show me what you got. Uh, you don't need to add anything new to the proposal, unless you want to. Uh, I am not going to regrade this proposal using the same rubric that your History 790 instructor used. I'm just going to use, I'm just going to look for a few things that will help me understand where you are in the process. I'm going to look for an extensive uh, source bases, primary sources, secondary sources. I'm going to look for a historiographical justification for your project. I'm going to look for a plan for completing the project, a plan that looks feasible and realistic. All of that should already be in the proposal, so I'm not asking for anything new, and this shouldn't require any new work from you. Just upload the proposal and let's move on. And so that's it for this week. Uh, once you've done those, you're going to spend the next couple of weeks working only on your capstone. Uh, we're not going to meet again until module three, where we'll have a discussion board where we'll just catch up. You can give us a status update, but I'll talk more about that later. As you write, I encourage you to use the capstone template that I uploaded in my previous announcement. The proper formatting, pagination, footnotes, table of contents, front matter, and all of that stuff will drive you nuts if you try to reinvent it from scratch. Uh, it took weeks for me to figure those things out in my thesis, for my thesis and my dissertation. You don't have weeks in this term to figure that stuff out, so use the template. It already has all of that stuff figured out for you. If you have any questions about the template, obviously let me know and I will walk you through it. It's we try to make it as easy as we can, but it's there. Please use it. Let me know if you have any issues or concerns. All right, one last thing, kind of going along with that, what I just said. This term is going to fly by. I'm sure you've noticed that 10-week terms go by, they go fast anyway, but this will probably be the fastest 10 weeks of your life. Day to day, it may feel like the slowest when you're looking at a blank computer screen, but when you look back at the end of the term, you're probably going to say this was one of the fastest terms that you've ever encountered. And that's because you have a lot to do in a very short amount of time. 75 to 100 pages is a lot of writing to do in 10 weeks. Now, even 10 weeks is an exaggeration. 
the first full draft of your project is actually due in week five, module five, where you're going to do a peer review with your colleagues. Then you'll submit another rough draft in week seven, and then you'll submit the final draft in week nine. This is gonna go very, very fast. We're already in week one. You've only got four weeks until that first draft is due. Which means that if your project hits a snag, or if the topic turns out to be unviable, or the project just falls apart for some reason, please let me know immediately so that we can work together to try to salvage your project, salvage the course, make sure that you figure out a way, figure out a way for you to succeed in the class. My contact information is in the My Instructor announcement on Brightspace. Now, I've been there. I've had major projects fall apart before. I've known lots of other people whose major projects have fallen apart, so I can probably have some suggestions. So let me try to help you if you find yourself in that type of situation. It's a miserable situation to be in. Hopefully you won't be there, but if you are, let's talk about it. Okay, so now that I've scared the bejesus out of you, uh, let's end this on a positive note. If you've gotten this far, you're probably going to be fine. We will all get through this. At some point this term, you will feel like you're just the worst student in the history of mankind and that you're a fraud and that everybody else knows what's going on and you don't. When that happens, try to remember that every other student has those exact same thoughts. Every history student in the history of mankind has always had those thoughts. That's just the way it works. I've had those thoughts, and I've been doing this for a very long time, longer than I care to admit. So feel free to contact me, and I, I'll share some of those stories with you. If that'll make you feel better, everything is going to be fine. Okay, that's it. I am signing off for now, and I will see you in the discussion board. Bye! <laughs>